Why didn't I listen to my mother? You might. Did you just hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. Get off me! I couldn't breathe under there. My whole life flashed before my eyes. There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You could at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I think I'm going insane. You should see a healer then, mate. Anyway, you got any spare wood or not? I refuse utterly to acknowledge that I'm talking to a tree stump. Hey? You're not talking to a tree stump. We're woodworm. That's why we want wood. We're bloody starving. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realise you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? I didn't expect talking woodworm, if that's what you mean. No one expects the talking woodworm. That's such a typical attitude of humanity in general. You just presume that we can't talk. You don't bother actually trying to speak to us. That's racism for you, though. Pure bloody-minded racism. I'm sorry, but woodworm just don't talk where I come from. And where's that, eh? Bloody posh in the town, I'll bet. You lot haven't got any time for a lowly woodworm. I've got a wife and 37 kids, you know. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Cheek, for example. Oh, go for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Young hooligan, have some respect. Sort of, Granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak, mahogany. I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is then.
What do I get out of it? The satisfaction of knowing you've made an invertebrate's life more bearable. I feel better just thinking about it. It's too big for me. I don't see the point. I'd better knock. Nobody home. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ain't no one ever told you not to steal from a witch? Excuse me, I've got a train to catch. I'd better not be seeing you around here again. Yes, ma'am. Phew, that was a close one. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the fridge. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me past, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. 
referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action instead. I am forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Can't we talk about this like civilized adults? I shall not. I shall not be moved. Excuse me, but you spelt rights wrong on your placard. You spelt rights wrong on your last sentence. What appears to be the problem here? I demand satisfaction, and until I get it, no one may cross the bridge. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Satisfaction are small furry rodents with a nasty disposition. Eh? Satisfaction, noun. Satisfying or being satisfied in regard to desire or want or doubt. Eh? Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation until I get a goat to eat. No one may cross the bridge. Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a really tough customer, you know. Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then... You're scared of a billy goat? This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. Mustache, I forgot to feed my wombat. Thanks a lot. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Why don't you have a go and find out? They say curiosity killed the troll, but here goes. Huh, I did a lot. Now where were we? Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you and... Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty-ho. Oh, you've been picking on my friend? No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow! What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya.
what appears to be the problem. Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? Not a sausage. I am not interested in sausages. Do you know anything about magic beans or not? Uh, no. You're a fine help then, aren't you? I've just remembered I do know something about beans. Why aren't my beans growing then? Hey, eh? I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. Did you say, Psst. Who, me? Yes. What do you want? You interested in any mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Any one for a gold piece? Sorry, I'm really not interested. Who needs your custom anyway? 